Welcome to Mint Canvas Studio. Today, I will give you a tour of the new Notion Cleaning Scheduler. This tool is designed for busy people who want to organize all their house chores and maintenance tasks, and it is especially useful if you share your space with family or roommates. But for now, let's see how the template works. The Cleaning Scheduler has a dashboard to check all your chores and to-dos, and a page dedicated to the people who share the space to organize and distribute tasks, and track progress. The first time you use this template, I recommend you take a tour of the main sections to get familiar with it, then navigate to the footer of the dashboard to open the database toggle. Each database has example pages you can delete entirely for a, a clean slate, or you can edit some of the chores according to your needs. The first step would be to add all areas or rooms of your house to the Rooms database. Each page has a template that we'll explore in a minute. Once you've added all the rooms, you can give each room a specific icon and a cover page if you wish. Now you can open each page and add chores on the first table view called List. By doing so, all chores in the chores database will automatically be organized into the different rooms. You can set the frequency for each chore and the last time you perform the task. Once you fill in the frequency and the last completed date, the database will automatically set the next due date for each task, which will then appear on the calendars here and on the main page. If you share your space with family members or roommates, you can also task chores to every person using the Who column. You can discard the example pages and add people using this database for now. Simply write down their names and click here. You can now open the People database and personalize each person's page. Assign an icon if you want or an emoji and add a cover photo if you like. The People database also contains a template that allows each individual to access their own mini chore dashboard and see a list of all chores assigned to them and a neat weekly calendar. This concludes the setup for the template. Now you're ready to start tracking and scheduling all your chores. Let's take a look at the main page now. Here at the top, there's the quick action menu. Below, there are two summary sections. The first column on the left shows all rooms with notifications for daily tasks and the task list. These notifications are completely automated. The column on the right contains daily summaries for all the chores and a list of all overdue ones, so you can go ahead and complete them. Once you've finished, reset the last completed date and the next due date will be amended accordingly. Below the summaries, there are the monthly and weekly calendars. The chore cards display the task, the corresponding room, the frequency, the assignee, if applicable, and the done checkbox. Since the due date for each chore is calculated by a specific formula, you cannot drag and drop pages to reschedule them as you usually do with calendars. You have to click on the chore card and edit the last completed property. The last section of the main page is a monthly board containing all chores grouped by area. You can see the task, who's assigned to it, the day of the week and the due date. You can also check the frequency and the completed checkbox. If you prefer to see a weekly board instead of the monthly default one, you need to edit filter. Click on the filter option from the database menu and click on one row. You just have to change the last option, where the due date is relative to today, this week, instead of month. The footer section contains the database toggle, as we've seen previously, and a short menu for the instructions page and the people manager. Let's open this page and see how it works. You have the quick actions here at the top, then you see daily summaries for each family member or roommate, displaying task notifications, like the ones on the main page. In this case, the notification show all the tasks each person should perform for the current day. This is an automated overview, so you don't need to input anything. It works in the background, pulling data from the chores database. 
What you can do is add a new person card using the button or clicking on New Page. The section below is a weekly overview of all chores arranged by person, so everyone has a clear understanding of their duties and can be kept accountable. Also, if you open a person's page, you can access the template and manage chores directly here. And this concludes the tour of the main sections of the cleaning scheduler. That's the system we've created to keep us accountable and supercharge our productivity when it comes to organizing and tidying up the, our home. I hope you found this video helpful and you'll give chore scheduling a try. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.